Hello and thank you for joining me again. As ever, I really appreciate it. I'm going to talk a bit today about learning. Learning for life and learning about life. Uh, as you can see, I've got lots of books behind me. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've looked at every one of them to some degree or another, but there aren't very many that I have poured through from cover to cover. Um, never enough hours of the day. So learning for life, we've got the formalised learning, the books, the schools, the colleges, the universities, finding out about stuff and endeavouring to store it in here. And a lot of it, endeavouring to make use of it as well. But not all of the stuff that we learn about is, is useful. And I, I remember having this discussion with some of the children that I worked with in secondary school. Oh, why do I have to bother doing maths? I don't want to do maths. Why do I need to be able to, sm to spell? And when I sort of explained about how we use maths in everyday life, keeping track of our finances, keeping track of distances from places. Okay, that was probably before we had as many um, assistances for things like that, but uh, you know what I mean. Just taking measurements and thinking, right, I need twice that. What's that? Rather than resorting to using a calculator or your phone to tell you the answer. I'm not sure how much I convinced them. But throughout life I've learned from the people around me, friends, family, and the family bit. I've been learning from them for 75 years because I'm a great believer that before we're even born we're learning we're learning about the taste of the foods that our mums eat. So presumably the foods that we'll be presented with later. We're learning about the sounds that we're surrounded by. So I've been learning and forgetting for a long time. But most recently I've been learning from a bird. A bird called Jack. Now, over the years, I have had several waifs and strays of the feathered variety that I have looked after to varying degrees. I had a sparrow once that I reared from being tiny little baby bird that fell from its nest in a thunderstorm, not a single feather. And amazingly, it lived, it grew, it developed feathers. I taught it how to fly over my bed and I used to take it into work with me every day. So meetings I went into, I used to reek of whiskers because I'd have to give it a, a quick feed be between the, uh, the meetings. But then came Jack. Jack was a jackdaw who I saw in my garden one day and he was, I say he, I don't know whether he was a he or a she. Um, one wing fine, the other wing was trailing and you could see the bone showing very white. So I offered some food and the food was eaten but then disappeared for a couple of days and then came back minus the bit of wing that had been trailing. So one wing and one stump. But he achieved. He would climb up in the trees and I could watch him going round and then he'd hit a point where he wasn't able to jump to the next branch so he'd turn round and try a different route. He never gave up until he got to the very, very top branch and he'd sit there clinging on for grim death if it was windy and I'd be watching, thinking, oh, Jack, keep holding tight. Remember, you can't fly to get out of that if 
if it all goes a bit uh, awkward for you. So I, I likened it to dispatching my sons for the first time on a two-wheeler bike without the stabilizers. But he was fine until sadly, just before Christmas, I think it was, he didn't put in appearance. So I have no idea what happened to Jack. I like to think that maybe he's hopped along to another garden and is living happily there. But my learning tells me, and my common sense tells me that no, he was probably unfortunately grabbed by a fox or a cat or something. But I like to think that I learnt from him and he learnt from me over the time that we shared our experiences over a plate of seed, chopped up fruit and, oh, the occasional pea. I thought I would try him with one of my lovely peas fresh from the garden, mashed it up, put it on the plate. He was pecking away, picked up the pea and <laughs> flung it over his shoulder. I took the hint, no more peas. So don't be surprised where you obtain your learning from. Be it human, be it out there in the world of nature, be it our animals, be it the birds. There's always stuff that we can learn because we as humans, we don't know everything and we're certainly not perfect by any means. So open yourself to learning. Take care. Thank you for listening. Bye.